Hi, and welcome to a brief demonstration of how to field terminate Belden's 10GX shielded cable. We've broken things up into three modules to explain things clearly, one step at a time. In this module, we focus on the cable, more specifically, getting the shielded cable ready for connectorization. Here's a preview of how things should look at the end of step one where we strip back the outer jacket to a predefined mark we've made. So let's see how we get there. The first thing to do is give ourselves some working slack. About six inches should be fine. Mark the cable at two points. 2 inches from the end and 6 inches from the end. Remove the outer jacket using any type of tool or blade. This part of the cable will be discarded later so you don't have to worry about being gentle. All done. That's step one. Here's the before and after preview of step two, where we cut off the outer jacket, binder thread, and most of the shield, leaving a half inch of shield with the drain wire wrapped around it. First, cut off the binder thread. Next, make a small cut and tear off the outer jacket in a circular path. It's very soft and rips pretty easily. Now we mark the half inch point on the shield. and we use the small cut and circular tear, just like we did to remove the outer jacket. Last step, wrap the drain wire around the shield to keep a 360 degree cover around the inner core. And here's the before and after preview of the next step, step 3, where we cut off the inner jacket, ripcord, and crossweb. First, we mark the inner jacket at a point 2 inches from the start of the shield. Everything from the end of the cable up to that 2 inch mark will be discarded, so it doesn't matter how you split the inner jacket, with a blade or any other tool. Next, pull on the ripcord to split the inner jacket up to the shield. Cut the ripcord. Then cut the cable up to the 2 inch mark.
Use the small cut and circular tear-off technique you used previously for the outer jacket and shield to remove the inner jacket. As the last step, fan out the pairs and cut off the cross web at the shield level, taking care not to damage the insulation on any of the pairs. That's it. We're now ready to insert the cable into a connector wire guide. We'll cover that in module 2 of this three-part series. Thanks for listening.